you guys it is so cold today i'm not even joking i woke up this morning and it was 48 degrees outside 48 degrees in tampa what is happening right now before anyone comments that that's not cold that is indeed cold for us in tampa you guys know that we moved from boston last year and normally 48 degrees would not phase us but for some reason 48 degrees hits different here literally i feel like i need a puffer jacket <laughs> i don't know what to tell you but getting myself some water before I officially start today's vlog. Gotta stay hydrated. I need some lemon. So good. Anyways, today we're going to have a very cozy laid back day since it is chilly outside and I actually have nothing important that needs to get done today. So I thought I would just do a cozy little reading vlog since I feel like you guys love these types of videos from me. You guys enjoy the reading vlogs a lot and I enjoy filming these types of videos. Again, we're just going to have a very cozy chill day, which I feel like I say in every vlog. That's my vibe lately. Just chill cozy days as i get through this pregnancy i am planning to do a pregnancy update i get tons of questions asking me how my pregnancy is going you guys are so sweet thank you so much pregnancy is going great i'm just a lot more tired than i've ever been in my entire life but that is just part of the pregnancy journey i will film a separate day in my life and share more updates on my pregnancy for those of you guys who are interested that will probably be coming within the next couple of days so stay tuned for that but with that being said the book that i want to read during today's reading vlog is christmas at silver falls by jenny hell this was one of the books that i picked up during my last barnes and noble trip and it sounds like it's going to be such a cozy read so i'm really excited i'll tell you guys more about this book in a minute but before i start reading i want to get a head start on baking some cookies i've been in the mood to bake some christmas sugar cookies so that is what we're going to do i am making the cookie dough from scratch and the dough needs to sit in the fridge for three hours well two to three hours so i figure i would get a head start prepping the cookie dough and while the cookie dough is doing its thing in the fridge i can be reading you know multitasking so let's get a head start on that let's go start on our cookie dough prep once i prep the cookie dough we'll get to reading <laughs> prepping the cookie dough it's going to take about two or three hours i'll probably leave it for the full three hours just because why not my heart she's so cute and she's purring you guys while the cookie dough is doing this thing in the fridge i'm going to start the Christmas at Silver Falls book that I mentioned earlier in today's vlog. This book follows Charlie and Scarlett. Scarlett's family owns White Oaks Inn. They spend every Christmas at the inn, but because of financial problems, they are facing the idea of having to sell their family in and of course scarlet is devastated with the thought of having to sell her family's in but here comes charlie who could be her saving grace the only problem is that charlie doesn't want anything to do with scarlet or the inn or any of the people at silver falls the cover just gives me christmas vibes and the synopsis on the back definitely gives me even more christmas vibes which i love i just feel like this is going to be such a cute little small town romance and i'm here for it those are my favorite types of books to read 
read during the Christmas season. So we're just going to start reading. two main characters just met finally i feel like it took forever they literally met 45 pages into the book which i'm not used to that in romance novels i feel like normally in romance novels the two main characters meet each other right away within the first chapter in this one they met in chapter four over 45 pages into the book i'm not mad at it though the author did a great job in setting the scene i'm definitely getting christmas winter vibes from all the scenery and just the type of language that the author is using to describe the small town, the inn, the family traditions. I'm loving every minute of it. Another great thing about this book is that it's a very much grumpy... I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to wake you up. Another great thing about this book is that it's a very much grumpy sunshine, which I love that trope in books. Scarlet is very much the sunshine of the story. She loves Christmas. She loves the traditions. She's all about the holidays and spending time with her family versus Charlie is the complete opposite. He is a full-on Grinch. He doesn't seem like he wants to deal with her or anyone at Silver Falls. And again, I personally love that trope in books, so I'm really excited to continue on reading. Ooh. Apparently, Scarlet and Charlie have met in the past when they were both teenagers and Charlie seemed to be a completely different person than back then which is to be expected obviously because he's now a grown man and they met when he was a teenager but I'm wondering like what happened to Charlie that made him turn into such a grump. Scarlet of course is determined to find out what happened to Charlie and why he's such a Grinch during the holiday season. guys this book has all the christmas vibes i'm here for it reading this book makes me feel like i'm drinking a big cup of hot cocoa with a bunch of marshmallows on top it's just been such a wholesome read so far i love it Charlie just said that he doesn't deserve Christmas which makes me think that he's grieving the loss of someone or something because why else would someone say that they don't deserve to celebrate Christmas? I'm curious to find out what happened to Charlie because I actually really like him. He seems like such a sweet guy and it's obvious that he cares about others but he tries to appear to be this huge grump that just wants to be left alone but his actions say the complete opposite. So I'm curious to find out more about him. There was an accident in the book, which was kind of scary, not gonna lie. Charlie is so sweet. Oh my gosh. I'm about halfway done with the book. Since I'm halfway done with the book, I'm going to take a little break, eat something, and then finish up the cookies. I do have to say that I'm enjoying this book a lot more than the last Christmas book that I read. A few days ago, I read In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, and I thought it was a really cute book, but this book is definitely giving me Hallmark movie vibes. Like, I could totally see this book being made into a Christmas movie. It's just been such a cute little read so far, so I can't wait to continue reading it, and it's also a very quick read. There's only like 280 something pages, so I feel like I'm going to be able to finish this today since it's such a short book and i'm enjoying it so much but again just going to take a little break to eat and finish up the cookies I didn't feel like making my icing from scratch, to be honest. I just was not feeling it. So I went to Target and I picked up their red decorating icing, their green decorating icing, some sprinkles, and then these edible glitters that I just thought were so pretty and look so good on the cookies. I'm so excited to try them out. I've actually never tried edible glitter before.
you guys i messed up okay i should have made my own icing i think i picked the wrong icing i think this is more for like cupcakes not necessarily cookies at least not for the designs that i had in mind so i think i'm only going to frost half the batch of cookies and then maybe tomorrow I'll head to the store to get the ingredients to make my own frostings that way i can ice my cookies the way i envisioned because right now i'm not liking how these cookies are turning out at all that's what i get for trying to take the easy way out and for being lazy lesson learned this one is probably my favorite out of the batch that i just did and i don't even love it like oh this is the frosting is not smooth i wanted the frosting to be smooth it's okay we live and we learn that's all right i can make cupcakes though this is why you don't take the easy route, you guys. just finished reading this book again such a super quick and easy read i honestly give this book four out of five stars i enjoyed it immensely the christmas vibes were 10 out of 10 the small town romance was 10 out of 10 for me in my opinion the best part about this book was that it was so wholesome there was actually no spice in this book and i know that some people may not like that a lot of people read romance books for the spice but i really enjoyed the fact that this book was straight wholesomeness vibes is that even a word i think it's a word but it had no spice and it was again just such a cute and sweet read i enjoyed every single page every single chapter immensely the only reason i didn't give it five stars was because there was a character that was introduced towards the end of the book that i didn't really like and i didn't really think that she added anything to the story so that's the only reason why i didn't give it a full five stars but other than that one specific character i really enjoyed scarlet and charlie i really enjoyed the side characters scarlet's family was such a blast i highly recommend this book to anyone who wants to read a really cute small town romance during the holiday season this is the book for you i mentioned this before but i can definitely see this book being turned into a hallmark movie i think some of the author's other books have actually been turned into a hallmark movie so i'm curious to check her her other books out i'm definitely going to order more of her books online on amazon because last time i went to barnes and noble they didn't have a huge selection of christmas books so i'm definitely going to look her up on amazon and pick up more of her books to read during the holiday season she just nailed the holiday values for me this book did what in a holidays by christina lauren tried to do don't get me wrong i really enjoyed the book in a holidays i gave it a three star rating i just felt like it wasn't really giving me all the christmas vibes that i needed whereas this one scenery is just absolutely gorgeous there's just so much talk about family traditions baking hot cocoa spending time with your loved ones literally everything that the holiday season is about is in this book and i'm obsessed really enjoyed it was not bored for one second if you're looking for a good holiday read definitely check out christmas at silver falls because you're not going to regret it now that i finished christmas at silver falls my next read is going to be something from tiffany's by melissa hill this is another book that i picked up during my barnes and noble trip it basically follows ethan green and gary knows whose world basically is collide for one small moment it takes place in new york city during christmas which i love new york city during the holiday season just so beautiful and i love tiffany's i actually haven't heard a lot of people talk about this book so i'm hoping it's good i mean it's a bestseller so people must like it <laughs> Thank you. 
I just read the first 36 pages of this book. I got to chapter 7. I'm not loving it so far and it's been a pretty slow read. I mean, it's not a terrible book. It just has had a very slow start and I'm not in the mood to read a slow book. I'll definitely pick it up again another day though because I do want to see if it picks up eventually. With that being said, that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope that everyone's having a great holiday season so far. If you have any holiday book recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments below so I can check them out. I really hope you guys enjoy this cozy little reading vlog. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>